Now the warrior robots in disguise are in their own action-packed Transformer comic on sale now from Marvel Comics. Thanks for watching. Like and comment. And don't forget to subscribe. Hello everybody, this is Toys R Us, and for this special video showcase, we're going to once again be returning to the Marvel UK Transformers comic. What we're going to do for the first couple of minutes or so is a very quick cover-to-cover -cover review, stopping at anything that's interesting, like letters, pages and adverts, and then after that, we'll come back to the beginning. I'll be nice and quiet and go nice and slow. With using your pause button, you should be able to read the comics for yourselves if you want to. So, we're already up to issue 142. This originally came out on the 5th of December 1987. And again, we're still lucky enough to have two Transformer stories in here. They're both American. They're both written by Bob Budiansky. And this is part two to what was called Child's Play, which is where the Protector Bots were sent on a mission by Grimlock to basically go and capture Blaster because in his eyes he's still a traitor um, and bring him back. But of course, nothing ever goes to plan. And while he was doing, the Protector Bots were doing that, they had actually managed to capture him. They came across the Combaticons and as you can see, Defensor and Bruticus are having an all-out battle. In the meantime, Blaster has managed to communicate with the humans and talk them into setting him basically free by releasing this part here. He can now transform, and which he does, and he promises to keep the humans safe. In the meantime, there's another battle going on over here. Sorry, the same battle is still going on, and Blaster manages to save the humans' lives. And at this point, we find out they must have be coming up with a plan that we don't know about until in a second. Defensor and Bruticus are still having a good old battle there. I'm going to stop briefly just to show you this beautiful artwork for this Target Master, Decepticons and Autobots there. Fresh, obviously, from their release in 1987. So, in the meantime, back to this. Uh, Bruticus has ended up beating Defensor for now, and he wants to capture Blaster, but Blaster says that they've done him a favour by beating the Protector Bots. Of course, Bruticus doesn't believe him, wants proof of this, so he pretends, as we find out, and to shoot one of the human child. And, of course, Bruticus is stunned by this. While he's checking them out, Blaster is then able to defeat Bruticus and send them off. Uh, but not too far, because here they all are in their alternate modes, um, and the humans then put the... I can't think of what it's called, but basically it stops them transforming, and I don't even know why they've decided to do this. It's just another crazy idea. They then decide to basically take Blast off prisoner <laughs> and use him to take the kids into outer space. Um, which, of course, is going to lead to more trouble because here comes Grimlock in the Ark to capture them. And it ends right there. Here is the letters pages. You can get the first one in the answer in there. You've got the start of the second one at the bottom there. So you can pause these. And there you've got the end of the second and the third and fourth letter as well there if you want to read them. We've got an advert again for the same specials because, of course, it's coming close to Christmas. So we've got some winter specials. And now we've got the B story. The B story, again, is taken from the American comic. And this was all to do with the introduction of the Headmasters, Target Masters and Planet Nebulos. And here we go. So the Decepticons are now attacking where the monster bots are. And there's too many of them. So the monster bots end up fleeing. Uh, Lord Zarek uh, jumps off. To basically congratulate and tell the Decepticons how well they've done. Where at this point he is then interviewed by their TV network, and he tells a very biased story of what's happened over the last few issues. Of course, that the Autobots are traitors and the Decepticons aren't is basically in a nutshell. And here come the monster bots running back to where the rest of the Autobots were hiding. And this is where they introduce themselves as what looks like it's going to be the target masters but at the same time they intercept a communication from some other people that said to be autobots i don't know yet haven't read it and they've got a choice do they help the nebulons or go and help the autobots and at the moment they're going to go and help the nebulons right very quickly we've got the robo capers comic which i know people like to read so you can pause and read that and then on the back we've again got a brilliant advert there's the first 84 battle scene and we've got these are the teller tales and the interesting thing about this is um so many of these shops just aren't even there anymore so i know this isn't much to do with the video but it's just crazy to see that 
WH Smith is still going, Asda's still going, and at one point it was part owned by Walmart. Gateway, I can't even say I've ever heard of. Lewis's, I think, might still be going. Woolworths has gone bankrupt. Tesco's still going. John Menzies has gone bankrupt. Martins is still going. Boots, Morrison's, Carrefour and Saver Centre. The bottom two, this one especially I've never heard of. And Carrefour was a huge French, um, I suppose, their equivalent of what's known as Walmart. So very interesting to see all these old names on the bottom there. Right then, I'm going to be nice and quiet and you can read this for yourselves. Right then, that's the A story. Here comes the B story.
there we go then guys this completes issue 142 quick apologies for the music you may have heard in the background hope you still managed to read it though thanks for watching like and comment and don't forget to subscribe